Biology is known to be really heavy on content because there's just so much information to learn. But the good news is you can use proven memory techniques to ace even the most content heavy subjects such as biology in a breeze. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing four proven memory techniques that will help you memorize any definition and any concept from biology, as well as some easy exam tips that will help you snatch those extra marks to get an A grade on your exam. If you're new here, I'm Emma Alam, the world memory champion, world speed reading champion, world mind mapping champion in the junior category, as well as holder of two Guinness World Records. And here on YouTube, I share quick and effective tips on memory, speed reading, and learning, and much more. And so if you find this video useful, then don't forget to click the like and subscribe button for more tips. Firstly, it's easy to blabber and fill pages with your answer, but it's important to define key terms and include key details in a way that is clear so that your examiner can understand what you're trying to say. Actually, examiners say that students do have an understanding of the concepts, but they just don't get the marks because their answers were not to the point and instead were just a fluff of words. So in biology, it's helpful to assume that the examiner has no prior knowledge and then state even the most obvious of things. For example, if the question is about cell structure, then you want to mention all the definitions, the details, and the processes that have to do with cell structure, even though they're not being asked. This will help you get your answer in the top band. I talk about mind maps a lot on this channel simply because of how much they've helped me ace my exams in a really short amount of time. Because they use the power of images, colors, and associations that really double our retention and memorization ability of any kind of information, specifically for subjects that are really heavy on content such as biology. So let's use a mind map to memorize some exam material from biology. To create a mind map, we have to select keywords from the exam material that we want to remember. So for example, we're going to remember these definitions. From here, we're going to have to select keywords and then place them on our mind map. So mind maps always begin from the center. So here is our central image for biology. From here, we're going to take out one main branch for cell structure and then place our information. Capsid, which is the outer protein shell of a virus that encases and protects the viral genome. Then cell surface membrane, which is a phospholipid B layer that is studded with proteins and it surrounds plants, algal and fungal cells. Then lastly, we've got cell wall, which is a permeable layer made up of polysaccharides that also surrounds plants, algal and fungal cells. Now to introduce the next technique that you can use to memorize exam material, let's first watch a story animation and just immerse yourself into the story. Use all five of your senses to imagine this happening as if it were actually happening. Imagine a huge nuclear bomb falling from above in the sky onto ocean tides. This explosion causes a huge amount of gas to emerge from the ocean. This gas gets absorbed into your pants. You look closely and the pants are covered in sugar. This process causes the pants to melt into pure acid. Oh no! Now let's try recalling the story. What fell from above in the sky? A nuclear bomb. And what did the nuclear bomb fall onto? Ocean tides. And what emerged as a result of this explosion? A lot of gas. And what did this gas get absorbed into? Pants that were covered in sugar. And what happened to the pants after this? They melted into pure acid. Awesome! You just memorized the three main components that make up nucleotides. How did we do that? We just converted each component into key images and then stitched them together with a short story. So the nuclear bomb that fell onto ocean tides actually represented nucleo, which was nuclear bomb, and tides, which was ocean tides. Then the gas that emerged from there actually represented nitrogenous gas. And then the pants that were covered in sugar represented pentose sugar. And then the fact that they melted into pure acid represented phosphate group because phosphate group means a kind of acid. 
Now for the third technique, we're going to use acrostics, which are a memory device, to memorize the main food groups required for a balanced diet according to biology. So the main food groups are carbohydrates, proteins, minerals, vitamins, lipids, dietary fiber, and water. Now we will simply take the first letter of each of these words and use them to create a more meaningful sentence that will be more memorable for your brain. So think of this sentence. My cardiac patients dearly love weekly vitamins. Wasn't that more memorable for your brain compared to this black and white list? It definitely was, and you're gonna be able to remember this at the time of your exam. And then each letter of the words in the sentence is going to remind you of the information that you need. So the M in my is going to remind you of minerals. The C in cardiac is going to remind you of carbohydrates and so on. Now we're going to use acronyms to memorize the common symptoms of a vitamin C deficiency called scurvy. How? We're just going to remember the word seat and each letter in the word seat is standing for our common symptom. So the S is for spontaneous bleeding, the E is for exhaustion, the A is for anemia, and the T is for tooth loss. Now you must be wondering, how will you remember that scurvy was with seat? Well, you're just gonna create a simple association or connection for your brain to be able to remember this. So just imagine a curvy snake, which sounds like scurvy, sitting on a seat. So now when you see the word scurvy, you're going to immediately remember that curvy snake who was sitting on a seat. And each letter of the word seat is going to remind you of that common symptom. We can use these memory techniques and mind maps to memorize exam material from virtually any subject very easily. And so to learn mind mapping or memory skills, you can click on the link that I'll be giving in the description box below to my coach Sanya Alam's online memory course and mind mapping course where you can learn these skills and apply them to anything. So if you enjoyed this video, then click the like button. And if you're interested, you can also watch this video right here in which I share five last minute exam tips that will help you ace your exam, even if you have a little bit of time left. And until next week, be happy and be joyful.